Hello, hello, hello to all my wonderful Sagittarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic day, but then again, I know you are Sagittarius because that's the intention you set, right? Right. Let's get into your reading. We are in a waning gibbous moon. It's like at 75% right now. We're moving towards another new moon, so get prepared for it, okay? You know, new moon phase is really about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, setting your intentions, planting those seeds, watering those seeds, being very careful about who you share, you know, your plans with and you know, that kind of energy, right? Let's get into it. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Sagittarius as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. I'm talking to my wonderful, smart, caring, deep thinkers who are also very honest and love to have fun, who are also very generous, idealist, has a great sense of humor. I'm talking to my archers. That is you, Sagittarius gods and goddesses. One of your ruling planets, or your ruling planet, not one, but your ruling planet Jupiter is retrograde right now. So yes. So you, this is a time where you see things, you aim, you go after, you shoot, right? You're an archer. You know exactly how to go after what you want. So this is the time for you to do it, right? Plus we have three additional planets that's retrograde. We have Saturn, um, Pluto, and Neptune. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Jupiter is you and uh, Pisces ruling planet. Pisces has two ruling planets, Jupiter and Neptune. But Jupiter being the largest planet, that's the planet of expansion. So you have a lot of good things in your favor. So it's time to go for it. Plus, boom, you have the Midas touch. Can we save more money, Sagittarius? ka -ching. Yes, I see more better sleep for you all. Mm -hmm. I see legacy wealth for you all. I see a tower moment. We're going to put this right here. We're going to talk about that in just a second. I see a breakthrough for you all. Very nice. And I see high priestess energy. So listen. Listen, let me tell you what the universe is doing for you all. You all, when I say you all are very divinely protected, that's an understatement when I look at this reading. That's an understatement. I see that anything that has tried to come up against you to try to harm you, I see that thing, that entity, that spirit having, or spirits, those spirits having a tower moment, meaning that it's a destruction of some kind. Some people around you have created their own karma, their own bad karma, right? Not good karma. But also for you, you're so divinely protected that some of it you will see. Some people go through their karma, Sagittarius. Some people you won't. And um, it's really not, their karma is not designed for you to go run back and chase and try to help them. Like through their karma. Because they created it. So they, it's, it's there as a lesson to help them grow. And also for you, I see quick revelation of information coming through to you all. I see ideas coming quickly. I see... You know, mainly ideas coming quickly, but it's coming through. It's like a rapid fire of ideas coming your way. Okay, I want to start a business. Okay, all of a sudden, all this information is coming to you. You're going to start seeing 11, 11, 22, 22, 33, 33, 44, 44. I mean, like numbers and, 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 see, and um, synchronicities. That's what you're going to, you'll probably see them on receipts. You'll see them on, you know, you may hear about them in readings. You may hear, just all, just see them everywhere. Because the universe is trying to let you know, okay, get to your higher self. There shouldn't be a battle between your lower self and your higher self, Sagittarius. Get to your higher self so that you can see what I'm trying to show you. And so through that, you may get that inspiration out in nature, right? You see all this greenery right here? It may be like a quick revelation of information. So say like, for instance, you go to the park. All of a sudden, an idea come. You already put it out in the universe. Remember, you planted seeds during the last new moon, right? And so things are starting to become realized. You're starting on that full moon, you know, you, you had some great ideas on the new moon. Then we, we ramped up to the full moon. All of a sudden, you start seeing some things come to fruition. Now, all of a sudden, you're ready to plant some more seeds. So you're like, okay, this is nice. I plant seeds. I water the seeds. And they grow, right? Okay. Some of them will grow faster than others, but I'm, I'm seeing how this thing works now. I got to plant some seeds during this time, and I'm going to see the harvest during this time. Yes, that's how it works. So what's happening, um, Sagittarius, is that you're actually moving towards legacy wealth. You all have always had the Midas touch. The, the, beauty, the beautiful part of being a Sagittarius is that you really have always had um, good fortune on your side, on, in your favor. 
no matter how your life has looked, all of that you can use towards your benefit, to not towards your benefit or to your benefit is what I meant to say. You can use all of that to your benefit. So let's say, for instance, you just had a really, really crappy childhood, right? Maybe your per your purpose is to be a counselor or, or some kind of a guidance to or guide to other people who have ha also had really horrible childhoods. Maybe you were in a bad, bad marriage, right? The focus is not on, oh my God, I was in such a horrible marriage, I'll never get married again, because that may be your thing. Maybe you don't want to get married again, but now open yourself up so that people coming across your path will receive your wisdom and knowledge. You know what I'm saying, Sagittarius? Yeah. So I'm looking at you building legacy wealth in whatever it is that you do. Some of you all are artists, some of you all are writers, some of you all are um, philosophers, um, orators, whatever, whatever it is, you have the Midas touch at doing it. And so that's where your legacy wealth lies, right? Um, some of you all are just healers, right? And I say just healers because sometimes third dimension, you, people have to assign titles to everything. Like, oh, this person is president of this and this person is this title and that title and put so much emphasis on title that healers almost get overlooked sometimes, right? Especially if they don't have a title. And so I say just healers because that's an extremely important role that the world has kind of sort of dismissed as, oh, that person, they, they're crazy. They into all of that spiritual stuff and, you know, but they're not, they're not this and they're not that and so on and so forth. So don't dismiss that in you. I also see you all having a breakthrough because again, it's just, like I said, you're opening up a portal to just receive what the universe is trying to send your way, information. All of a sudden, it's just going to feel like a stroke of luck. I mean, I'm talking about all of a sudden, like lightning, like lightning hit you, and it was a stroke of good luck, right? But we know it's not good luck. You all were predestined to already have good fortune just by your sign, right? It's a Sagittarius. So again, I see a major breakthrough, and I see you all sleeping better, right? A revelation, one revelation that's coming to me right now for some of you all is that, you know what? I can create legacy wealth without my family. Yes. I can create legacy wealth without certain people being in my life, right? You know, everybody comes across your life for a reason, you know, and you got to figure out what that, what was the reason that person came across my life? No matter how difficult the situation seemed, what was the reason? What was the reason that person came across my path? Right? And so you you take the good stuff. The other stuff, okay, I learned my lesson. I learned some things about myself that I will and I won't accept moving forward, right? So some of you all have absolutely had people close to you to really, really burn you, right? I mean, really, really try, let me say try, operative word, try to burn you, try to distract you, but you're learning how to stay focused. The more and more you stay focused, Sagittarius, the more and more people actually end up burning themselves. And look at you, grounding, see? So the key for you is to really get outside in the sunlight to remove all that stale energy. The sun is medicine, vitamin D. You know, um, vitamin D comes from the sun and it comes from food, right? So you're eating healthier, you're getting outside, getting some sun, you're taking your nature walks, everything. And that's where you're drawing inspiration from. Like all that energy and all that, all that good energy information is coming from the universe, right? You feel like your third eye is wide open. You almost feel like a superhero, <laughs> like like you're supercharged, like super powered. Yes, that's how a lot of you all are feeling. Plus you have the wheel of fortune spinning in your favor, see? Mm-hmm, nice. A lot of you all are healed, so you all are healers. That's why before I even pull this card, I'm like, a lot of you all are healers and don't even know it. Like, but but again, you can't be caught up in the title, in the position of third dimension. You have to recognize, hey, yes, my human body lives in this third dimension, but my spirit is on another in another frequency, on another, on another channel, on a higher level. I am a healer. And that's what for a lot of you all stepping into that right and then also um this is how you come across to a lot of people see this is what i don't you want get, want you to get twisted at all sagittarius so your ruling planet is the largest planet right it's the planet of expansion it's the planet of good fortune right right now it's retrograde so it's really really encouraging you to pick back up some of those projects that you may have put on pause right Especially when Mercury was retrograde because that was a static in communication. So that's what you're doing. You're picking back up some things that you may have just laid down temporarily, right? 
recognizing, okay, it's my time to just go. Plus, Neptune is retrograde. Neptune is the planet of illusion. So you're dreaming bigger, right? Dreaming bigger than you've dreamt in a long time. And you're recognizing, put those two together. And then on top of that, Pluto is retrograde, which is a death rebirth planet, which is encouraging you to declutter, right? And then you have Saturn as <laughs> retrograde, which is the planet of ambition. So you put an ambition behind your dreams. You got luck in your favor, which really isn't luck. It's expansion is good fortune and also you've decluttered you're making room for your legacy wealth right guess what that makes you look like to so many people out there not only are you balanced out but everybody's looking at you like hmm look at Sagittarius looking like the knight in shining armor mm -hmm. and I'm talking to people who identify as men and women men or women it doesn't matter that's how people are seeing you because not just for the money aspect but because you have intentionally decluttered got all of your drama out of your life like really really healed from family trauma you've healed from so many things like you have really invested in yourself putting in the work it is nothing more attractive than a healed person a healed person that is balanced they're not complaining about everything they're like you know what it is what it is you know i'm loving life i'm in, i'm getting up i'm setting my intentions the whole nine yards i'm telling you you're connecting with your ancestors. I love it. You can see, connecting with your ancestors. This is the best thing you could have ever done was really, really connect with your ancestors because they've already been here before. They came back around many times through you and through other family members, but we're talking about specifically you. And they are the ones who's giving you the answers to all the tests. So you want to listen to them, Sagittarius, but that is what I have for you. So keep connecting with your ancestors and keep winning, keep expanding. I'm talking about and keep soaring high. That is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Have a great one. But then again, I know you will because that's the intention you set. Bye.